Hello doctor. Hello. We have questions regarding kidney transplant. Sure. What is chronic kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease is where there is a progressive damage to the kidney and it leads to gradual deterioration of kidney functions. Why is it called a silent killer? It's silent because in early stages of disease usually there are no symptoms so patient will not come to know about the disease when the symptoms appear it is already a very advanced stage so that's the reason we call it a silent killer What is the difference between chronic kidney disease and acute kidney injury Actually acute kidney injury is a sudden insult to the kidney where kidney suddenly stop functioning and it's completely reversible Whereas chronic kidney disease is irreversible and patient would require dialysis or kidney transplantation. What is the relation between chronic kidney disease and kidney failure? See, kidney failure is an advanced stage of chronic kidney disease where the kidney function is less than 10% and this is a stage where most of the patient would require dialysis or kidney transplantation. kidney transplantation the only option yes at this stage of renal failure the only option is either the dialysis or one has to get the kidney transplantation how common is chronic kidney disease so chronic kidney disease is quite common so in india almost 150 to 225 patients develop chronic kidney disease per year and more than 2 lakh people require kidney transplantation who are the people at risk So if we look at the common causes diabetes and high blood pressure these are the two most common factors leading to renal failure then there are patients who have heart disease vascular disease and other genetic diseases who develop chronic kidney disease who is eligible for kidney transplantation say so any patients who have advanced renal failure they can get a kidney transplantation diabetes heart disease or infections are no longer a contraindication So only contraindication is active malignancy and patients who have severe vascular disease. Who can donate kidney? The kidney transplantation is governed by Human Organ Transplant Act and according to this act any family member who has a matching blood group and has no disease can donate the kidneys. Uh, if there is nobody in the family who has a matching blood group or is fit enough to donate then there are other options. like we look at the extended family we can do a incompatible transplant we can desensitize these patients for kidney transplantation or cadaveric kidney transplant what is the recovery rate of donors so the donor usually do not have any risk factors so we do all the investigation so that the donor is fit they have no risk after kidney donation and there are studies which have shown that after donation the patients remain almost normal what do we do when family cannot donate kidney so if there is nobody in the family who can donate uh, they they can look at the extended family other relations like uncle aunt niece then if there is no match we also swap the kidney so there are two pairs of kidney transplantation so they donate for each other we can also do incompatible kidney transplantation where we remove the antibodies and put the kidney when their antibody titer is low if there is no option like that then the patient can get a cadaveric kidney transplantation so they can list themselves for disease donor transplantation and whenever the kidney becomes available they get this kidney as a disease donor what are the technological advancements for treatment of chronic kidney disease yes there are lot of advances in the treatment one there is a more uh, better immunosuppression where the graft longevity has increased then there is laparoscopic surgery and robotic surgery so we use laparoscope and robot to do the surgery and do the anastomosis so that will reduce the post operative pain and morbidity in patients as well as donors what are the common risks after transplant and management say once we put the kidney in kidney start functioning immediately so patient start making urine even in operation theater patient is kept in icu and monitored they given iv fluids antibiotic and immunosuppression 
the common risk after kidney transplantation is rejection when the body reacts to the kidney it leads to damage to the kidney and rejection and to prevent that rejection we give them immunosuppression at the same time if the immunity is very low they are also prone for infection so we have to maintain a balance so that there are no rejection as well as there is no infection to these patients other thing which can happen is the recurrence of disease the patients who have diabetes once they get the kidney transplantation they can again have the same disease in the new kidney but that usually take long and if we manage diabetes blood pressure and immunosuppression in these patients we can prevent the development of new disease in the kidneys what are the benefits of kidney transplantation actually kidney transplantation is the best treatment option the patients who get the kidney transplantation they live longer as compared to patients who are on dialysis their quality of life become much better they become fully active they can go to office they can go to school women can have normal family and they can bear children there is also social and economic benefit that the cost of kidney transplantation is approximately 6 lakhs but for dialysis it's around 3 to 4 lakhs per year so after 2 years of kidney transplantation there is actual save, saving after getting a kidney transplantation so that's the best treatment in terms of longevity quality and cost effectiveness